Hey, this is Kevin, you're watching wingsound.com. In this video, we're gonna check out the file browser, and I'm gonna show you some quick tips to navigate and organize your files. All right, so uh, whether you're DJing or performing or recording or producing music in Ableton, it's really important to keep this file browser organized and to know what's going on in here. So uh, over here, you got the devices that are in Ableton. Uh, you get third-party plug-in devices if you have any and uh, you have your three uh, different file browsers um, so in this file browser one I have the library of clips um, provided by Ableton at any time if you need to find that this little third button right here will bring you right to the library and uh, if you ever need to go up for instance I'm in clips in the library but that's not the root folder of, of the library, press this little button and that will bring you the next uh, folder that it came from. A really useful button over here is the root button. So for instance if I, I got my clips and I want keys, click it, but I, I don't want to f see all this other stuff here, I'll just uh, click the root button in this uh, browser and that's now dedicated to my keys clips. Um, I keep uh, everything organized from my computer my external in the volume 2 in the, in the second browser and this is my external here and I, get, I keep some hits uh, just some solo hits and uh, some loops and so you can see what's going on here and um, I, you gotta keep everything organized by category and by instrument so you know what's going on um, you can also access your iTunes when you want to drag in a song on the fly or whatever. You want to sample a song. Uh, you got them all right here. And uh, if you don't know what's what, you got this little headphone button up here. In that will preview the song for you. Um, if you're using a, a, a device with a third party output, then that will automatically preview to your queue to your headphones so that the audience doesn't hear what you're previewing at the time uh, so simply just drag in whatever you want anywhere you want to do it into the session view or into the arrangement view and uh, it will load the sample up for you check out Kevin's new series of videos including these titles featuring Ableton Live available on demand at wigsound.com